the anti cancer foundation says you must drink every hour how much you need that's good but along with that one more thing you must add really you are getting thirst or not how do you going to find out by chipping the water then your system says yes i need one more tumbler then you drink it how you are drinking the water you are drinking the water with gulp lifting that uh, bottle like this and swallowing even no buffalo itself it won't drink like this but we are mad people doing that damaging our system you must taste the water how many of you tasting the water if you taste the water your system says this much is enough that much is enough if you taste the water you know don't, don't need of this 2 liter water per day or 3 liter water per day you are sitting in the ac room you are simply walking only 1 km 2 km per day then that how much the water needs that to also if you get amount you will forget the water if the emotion comes you will you definitely you will forget or not because you are intended with any job then you will automatically you will forget that so that is why that anti cancer foundation says please put a alarm or every period you try to chip water what will happen the water will get balance in your system the water is as a nutrient as well as it is a fluid mechanism to maintain your cell you leave the cell long without water you the stagnation of waste will be more and more then you will get struck the stagnation of waste is nothing but disease if it is stuck in your knee you will get knee pain if it is stopped in your abdomen you will get that abdominal complications suppose if it is stuck in your lung you will get that lung complication that means we either cold or something else whatever it is so wherever it stores that type of disease will come so to avoid that first first option is the thirst second hungry how many of you felt you are hungry in your day to day activities and <laughs> no sir we are not having a time to notice all these things because uh, early morning we pack and run towards the bus yes since from the childhood we are doing the same phenomena is going going on please try to understand your perception of hungry when you get hungry if you eat the total food will convert it as energy instead of that if you are fat without hungry only the partial food will be converted as energy the partial will be the waste that waste only we call it as a diabetic or that bad food what is called that fat or salt whatever it is so if it is semi processed the semi processed is burden to your system so here after please try to do that first you drink the water then automatically that will guide you to that either it is thirst or hungry that will guide you first you take a half tumbler water and swallow very slowly after 10 minutes again you try the same if it is really hungry then your system will starts that is i am hungry instead of that if it is not hungry then you you feel that i am not getting hungry so wait for that hungry another two hours one hour like that so this is the way you must find out then when you get tired just close your eyes 5 minutes take a deep breath for 5 minutes you will be refreshed 
because your system needs some rest that's all instead of that if you take a tea or coffee whatever it is you are inducing the nervous system and you are damaging the nervous system and you are repair mechanism here after will not work because you are bypassing right then the sleep sleep is most important or not yes when you are going to sleep after finishing your all okay anyhow to sleep at least before 10 o'clock or 10:30 that should be deep sleep isn't it so these are the thing you must maintain while eating how many of you tasting your food only by looking telephone or cell phone or tv most of the dining hall is in the uh, in front of the tv only if you get emotion while eating you never get saliva according to your food you see whatever the food you are consuming according to that saliva will change or not if you are munching the coconut or taking that orange there's a different different saliva instead of that if you looking very sad news in the tv there is a funeral there is a weeping on woman getting more money and weeping weeping like anything in the drama you are also tearing while eating are you getting saliva saliva never then that food never get digest you more you know more than me i think how long you will eat in every day 5 hours only 45 minutes that 20, 15 15 15 three times maximum 45 minutes so that 45 minutes to be utilized for the only consciously eating is it possible or not please is it possible or not try to eat with mindful that will change your whatever the disease because if your digestion is good everything will good if your digestion is bad everything will get bad so consciously you must eat then what to be eat that is most important our south indian menu is morning idli evening dosa or morning chapati evening puri this is our regular the afternoon also we are having a north indian lunch with the chapati only we will eat unless otherwise we won't eat am i correct sir because of i don't want to put the weight sir that's why i'm eating chapati hey you will get diabetic how many of you know the wheat contains glutenin the glutenin will damage your beta cells of the spleen then you never get insulin even the americans are selling that glutenin free wheat we are fond of eating that chapati to to get rid of the diabetic or to avoid the diabetic or fear of diabetic i don't know everybody is eating chapati along with the diet actually the wheat is not our diet how many of you know we can't cultivate the wheat here yes agriculturist i am telling you we can't cultivate the wheat here it is very terrible to cultivate it it will be cultivated only in the northern side after gulbarga only it will be get cultivated so that is the climatic condition 
here what we are cultivating that is our tight where you are there there the what the diet is cultivating that is your own diet it was the wide experimental done by that colin campbell and campbell uh, written in this book the china study how many of you gone through that book please if it is possible you go through that book it suggests only that the whole grain diet the seasonal fruits the seasonal vegetarian vegetables and greeneries greens and nuts if you get sick away from the animal food even the dairy products also if you get sick don't touch dairy products even the country fellows are knows the very well about that if you get sick here they never give you ghee isn't it but now we if you get sick you are fully filled by the milk milk will take maximum of the energy to digest it needs a 72 hours to digest how many of you knows that if you get sick please away from the milk please away from the animal products if you get energy more and more then you consume whatever it is but if you get little lazy or sick or little discomfort you please away from that very very simple so morning is maximum fruits different different variety of fruits that too also juicy fruits along with your rice before rice you must consume fruits because it is a long gap that is breaking the fast to be start with fruits then afternoon lunch whole grain diet that means rice if it is possible take along with before that rice you take vegetable salads night also the same dinner vegetable salads with rice in between nuts which nut is the good nut badam almond cashew nut ground nut i can say coconut is the best nut in the world how many of you knows that how many of you utilizing that you are frightened by the coconut because it is fat are medical people you don't say that it is a fat it is a animal fat animal fat is good for you isn't it it contains more of sodium monolauric acid it enriches your brain cells isn't it the only product in the world the coconut contains the sodium monolauric acid to enrich your brain cells if you get damage anywhere in your all over the body the cells will get regain repair itself <clears throat> but if you get damage in your brain cells you never get repair without help of the sodium monolauric acid so that much it is so important if you consume the coconut in your day to day diet your aging process will stop definitely how many of you visit to ceylon have you seen the ceylon people they are consuming plenty of coconut milk every day morning afternoon night without coconut milk nothing can be taken by them if you look that 20 years less view they are look like a, less than 20 years if you ask them 45 are you no no i am 65 sir like that 
so if you want to be a anti aging process i would like to suggest all of you to consume coconut at any format at any format why not in the good format easily digestible way i am recommending coconut milk along with one coconut milk that means one coconut how much the milk it gives you that one for one coconut one lime juice one lime that also cues it and add with the coconut milk and keep it for 3 hours then if you consume after that it will be just like a butter milk supreme butter milk easily digestible if you consume the raw coconut milk it never get digest easily so if you add with that lime the process will be very easy to digest and also very tasty right so the coconut is the the best nut next to that groundnut or that almond or cashew nut whatever you like it you you take it but all these nuts to be consumed before that consumption it should be immersed in the water to remove the unwanted toxics if it is groundnut or almond it should be choked in the water for 9 hours then only it will be cleans that means it contains some toxic on the cover the toxic is the safe for that germination of that so on so plant so if you put it in that 9 hours in the water that start to germinate for that it releases the toxic then it is easy to take free of toxic almond that cover to be removed right so the food is easy food your food to be morning fruit juice or fruits plenty of fruits with rice and afternoon and night vegetable salads with rice and in between nuts okay okay now let us go for the day to day sufferings day to day suffering means if you get cough if you get sneezing if you get wheezing or body paining uh, or urination or loose motion whatever it comes these all are very good process happening in your system instead of that we are taking a pill or doing some any treatment it is dead against to that system because it cleansing the system so to allow the system you must keep quiet without diet is the golden rule for 4 to 6 hours first then if it is needs you take orange juice or that sweet lime juice or the coconut water then you will be free even if you get fever also the same thing when you get fever you can't able to eat you can't able to drink isn't it your mouth will become bitter taste what it means don't put anything inside that only it talks while the fever you can't eat but instead of that we are doing kanji and putting that kanji or putting the bun in milk and swallowing it is utter nonsense the kanji is only at the starving place we know the history isn't it the kanji is used only at the starving place or not but we people are consuming the kanji still now you go you go and visit to the government hospital in front of the government hospital there are a lot of orange stalls still there it was introduced in 18th century itself so orange is the the best fruit while getting sick that to also consume in the form of juice you cue the juice don't put it in the mixer and drink don't be like that 
you choose the orange and consume the juice according to your weight basis how much you are weight into 5 is the minimum quantity grams or ml for example if 50 kilo you are to 250 ml of orange juice to be consumed then you will be healthy happy the maximum to be 10 15 to 10 500 ml right so when you get fever if you follow this then automatically the fever will get vanished fever is nothing but the highest immune systems reflex and i think you know very well about me yeah, more than me isn't it fever is highest immune systems reflection or not are you are you confirm yes then why do you damage the fever with the drug or with the treatment as for my experience one fellow came for that coronary artery disease you know that coronary artery disease two three places four places one place at hundred percent ninety nine percent ninety percent eighty nine percent eighty five percent all are most probably everything is got choked well then after that acupuncture treatment uh, I didn't talk about so for the acupuncture uh, acupuncture is nothing but taking your hand right hand and packing the pulse and treating a pulse particular exact point with meager touch meager touch within half a minute the process will over only that much time I don't want to uh, <coughs> what you call that advertisement about acupuncture because your system capable to overcome whatever the problem but that fellow got that acupuncture treatment after that he got fever Fever continues, 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 three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. He was admitted in the hospital and so on to hospital. And they gone through the, all the tests. Eight days the fever goes, goes, all the coronary artery blockages vanish. It got open, 100% open. Who, go the, who done that job? Yeah, that is one system done that job because fever is the highest immune system reflection, isn't it? So fever does that all the unwanted coagulator that waste materials is burnt and eliminated. It needs a seven days. That's all. Instead of that, if you treat the fever, the fever will go. The heart will choke again and again. 